here at the 2012 NCAC Field Hockey Championships from Blackstock Westfield on the campus of DePaul University. I'm joined by DePaul University head field hockey coach Gina Preston Wills. DePaul picking up their first ever NCAC Tournament Championship today with a 2 0 win over Denison. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, coach, team's 15th shutout of the season today, now riding an 18 game winning streak as you uh, move into the NCAA tournament, your first uh, NCAC Tournament Championship. Just talk about how the game uh, played its way out today. Um, we, once we got into our flow a little bit with our passing and, um, were able to work the ball around and create some space going forward. And then the team just did a nice job finishing inside the circle. Denison has great defense and a great goalkeeper. So, um, we took advantage of the opportunities when we had them and they just played, um, really strong for 70 minutes and, um, stepped up when we needed to. Coach, it's tough to beat a team three times in one season. You were able to do that today against Denison. Uh, two one to nothing results in the regular season, two to nothing today in the NCAC tournament. Just talk about this team's resiliency to really to be able to beat a good DePaul field hockey, I mean, Denison field hockey team uh, three times in one year. Uh, yeah, we made some good adjustments to this game that I think allowed us to score goals. We've been working on our positioning and our play inside the circle, which I think opened up um, some goal scoring opportunities for us off the rebound. And they just played uh, really strong and looked to go around and uh, that created the goals. But it really started with our defense today, them stepping up and limiting Denison's opportunities and withstanding when Denison would put some pressure on our defense, stepped up and played really big, which allowed our offense to get some opportunities. Coach, talk a little bit more about this defense. As I mentioned, 15th shutout of the year. Uh, really, uh, that back line has been incredibly strong for you all season. Uh, just talk about how they played uh, today as well. Uh, Chelsea, Taylor, and Sydney, they're phenomenal. They work really well together. Um, pressuring the ball winning the ball individually but then also once we have the once we have possession really possessing the ball out and giving our forwards the opportunity to go forward um, in good situations so they've just been very resilient they stay very composed under pressure and they've been kind of the backbone for our team all season Coach, you guys obviously uh, were here in the NCAC Tournament Championship a year ago. Uh, going back to your days in the SCAC, you've been in Tournament Champions past. <laughs> now this is your fourth straight year. You're able to finally break through and get that tournament win. And now moving into the NCAA Tournament, you're first uh, as the head coach of the DePaul Tigers. Just talk about what it is, what it feels like to, to finally break through, get that Tournament Championship, and know you're going to the NCAA Tournament. It's a great feeling. I don't know if I quite <laughs> have a grasp on it yet, but um, it's been our goal all season, and I think it had a different feel this year. Um, the team played with confidence. Even going into this game, they were they um, they have confidence in themselves and confidence in each other, and we, we play a nice team game on offense and on defense, and that's what allows us to be most successful in there is just the way that they play together, and um, they've really taken ownership of that and have – just played great, have great attitudes, come every day to practice, ready to work hard. So it's been a really fun year, and I can't say enough about the team and what they've done. Coach, your senior captain, Margaret Ellis, named tournament MVP. A big goal today to give you guys uh, the 2 to nothing lead, that cushion that you needed as the t game got tight and wound down towards the end of the second half. Just talk about her play and what she's meant to this team. Margaret's a great leader. She works really hard um, at practice and in games, and she's the first person pressuring the ball. She's making runs. She's um, been a great assister for us this year as well. So she's done a little bit of everything and really motivates the team and keeps them going. Um, when, when times get tough, she's their good voice to keep us composed and just playing strong so she's been a great great leader for us um, especially this year and we're looking forward to the NCAA tournament. You know coach as we uh, move forward obviously last season you were so close to, to that NCAA bid you're trying to get a pool C uh, now after today there's no waiting around there's no you know if you know what you know who wins who loses you know you're in the NCAA tournament what do you guys do as a team and as a coaching staff to move forward you don't know where you're going who you're going to play but in just terms of continuing to get better and look forward to trying and making a run the NCAA tournament. All year we've really talked about um, what makes us good as a team and what we need to do in order to be prepared for the next game. So it's really focused on, um, you know, what we can control. So it's it's about uh, it's about playing together on t defense, communicating, and working together on offense. And that's just been our motto all year. And I think the team's uh, really done well with that. And we're that's where we'll be at the beginning of the week as well. Head coach of the DePaul University Tigers, field hockey champions of the NCAC today with a 2 nothing win over Denison. Uh, again, Coach uh, Gina Preston-Wells. Coach, congratulations. The best of luck moving to the NCAA tournament. Thank you.